This is a very typical example uh, dealing with Rolle's theorem. It says that we're supposed to show that Rolle's theorem is applicable for this function. And if it is applicable, uh, find the x value, find x equals c that will, will satisfy Rolle's theorem. So here's our function, f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 1 uh, on the particular interval 0 to 4. Now, what was Rolle's theorem? Well, let's, let's just remind ourselves real quick. It says that if a function's continuous on the closed interval, like 0 to 4, differentiable on the open interval 0 to 4, and f of 0 equals f of 4, then there has to be some x value, some x equals c, on the interval 0 to 4, such that the derivative there equals 0. Okay, so let's, let's go through and let's uh, test all these criteria for this given function here. Uh, over that particular interval. So here's our function, negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. Uh, first of all, I know that it's differentiable because in Calc 1, for a, a univariate function, a function of only one variable, differentiable means you can take its derivative, uh, as we might assume. So sure enough, we can, negative 2x plus 4. So since you can take its derivative, it's differentiable. Um, it, another way to say this is this graph here is smooth. This is a smooth curve, which also means differentiable. Um, obviously on the interval from 0 to 4. Now it is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. Uh, the last thing we have to check is that um, f of 0 does in fact match f of 4. Now, if these for some reason don't agree with one another, then Rolle's theorem is not applicable and there's nothing more to do. But let, let's check it here real quick. If you plug in 0 into the function, not the derivative, but in the function, 0 squared is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, and 4 squared is 16, so negative 16 plus 4 times 4 is 16. So negative 16 plus 16 is 0, and 0 and 1 make 1. So here we see f of a equals f of b. We'll just, here, let's just check these off. f of a equals f of b. Yes, it does. Uh, it's continuous. It's a polynomial. There's no asymptotes for that function or anything like that. And it's differentiable because we could take its derivative. So all the criteria have been satisfied. And this is really uh, all I need to say. I mean, this is actually like a paper test. You might could write out a sentence or two saying those things in words. But um, but I, I've said with you everything that we need to say as far as it's satisfying Rolle's theorem. But now what do we do then? If it satisfies Rolle's theorem, then then what's left? Well, what's, what does the result of Rolle's theorem say? It says then there is some c value guaranteed by Rolle's theorem such that the derivative there equals zero. It promises me that. So what I'm going to do, since I know there's that, that type of place out there, uh, then I'm going to take the derivative, negative 2x plus 4, and I'm going to set it equal to zero because that place should exist. Um, 4 equals 2x, and so x equals 2. Um, that's our value for c, quote unquote c, such that the derivative there equals zero, and sure enough, it is on the interval from, from zero to four. Now, some of these problems you might have uh, multiple places where the derivative is zero, and I'll just make one up, maybe two and negative seven. Even though the derivative might be zero there, that's not going to be the one that Rolle's theorem gave us. Why? Because it's not within that particular interval. So if you get multiple answers, make sure to only list the ones that are in your given interval from A to B. Now we're going to close this example out with the graph. I went ahead and uh, took the liberty of graphing negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. And, and here's what he looks like. And, and sure enough, we can see everything we need to see um, at 0. It has a, a y value of 1, and over here at 4, he's got a y value at 1. And so since it's a smooth curve between 0 and 1, uh, I'm sorry, between 0 and 4, there has to be somewhere that has a derivative of 0. And sure enough, we did this using algebra, but we figured out it was right here, uh, and that f prime at 2 was 0. So uh, we found the c that satisfies Rolle's theorem.